Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Doug and in this video I'm gonna give you guys a huge update on the render token burning mechanism. I'm also gonna tell you guys why it's needed and what will be the impact once the burning mechanism is in life. And of course at the end a non-financial price prediction. But let's not talk too much and get straight to the video. So the first thing I wanna talk about is Andrew Hyde a member of the Render Foundation was talking about the burning mechanism and he said that they're currently working on it in testnet. There's no estimated time on the launch, but they will clearly communicate on all channels. This is actually big. Knowing that they're already working on it on testnet, why it was approved one month ago is so much bullish and it makes my statement of it being launched by the end of the year more and more realistic. But you guys might be wondering, well, Doc, why does the render token actually needs a burgeoning mechanism? Well, currently how the render network works, on one side there's someone who requests a job and he can pay with render tokens or even with fiat. And then the other side there will be a node operator who will get paid for the rendering job in render tokens or even in fiat. So there's actually not really a value currently for the render token because if the node operator just sells the render token, well, it's just a trade and it's not really something why you would want to hold render token, but this is all about to change with the burning mechanism. So basically with the burning mechanism, if someone who needs rendering or GPU power pays for the computing power, has the token, the token will be burned. If he doesn't have the token and pays with fiat, the fiat will buy render token of exchanges and it will get burned. So of course the node operators for providing GPU power, they need to get some money and this will be by fixed amounts of minted render tokens each epoch. So this will create constant buying pressure because there will always be people buying tokens and burning them because the network is getting used by 10,000s of people. So constant buying pressure is really big. On the other side, nobody says that the node operators will sell. They might have diamond hands, keep it for one, two years and this will even make the price go up faster but what does this actually mean in number so basically let's say the monthly use of the render network is like five hundred thousand dollars which is actually right now and every month they will distribute one hundred thousand tokens then with a render of two dollars that means two hundred thousand dollars in distributed tokens and three hundred thousand dollars in net burn tokens so this can keep going and the price has to keep up with the burning and will go up of course the other way around if there's way more token distributed than the usage it actually will have more tokens in circulating and the price might go down but again it all matters if these operators sell even if the usage is less than the distributed amount if operators don't sell there's always constant buying pressure so this is really really used and you guys might be thinking well doc will it actually grow so much that it have such a big impact well if you guys don't know yet ai model trainings are now expected to rise from 100 million dollars to 500 million dollars by 2000 30. So training an AI model now costs around $100 million. We saw that with Microsoft, we saw it with Google, we saw it with ChatGPT, everyone. If we talk about ChatGPT, ChatGPT currently needs 30,000 NVIDIA GPUs to get its training model going and upgrading and they don't even have enough. The CEO even stated they cannot upgrade ChatGPT anymore because they don't have enough GPUs. So it's already starting to have problems while it's only been up for a couple of months. It's getting crazy. And not only the GPUs for the training is a lot, also, ChatGPT now costs OpenAI more than $700,000 a day to run. Chip made maker NVIDIA can't pump out no products fast enough. $700,000 a day. Can you imagine 
one language model who needs 40, 50,000 GPUs to get the machine learning going burns more than $700,000 a day to run it actually and render is adding three by the end of the year if this would be burning render every single day an amount of 700,000 the price would literally skyrocket it will put so much buying pressure on a token you cannot even imagine and this is why the burning mechanism in my opinion will be the greatest render update so far and that someone of the foundation said that they're working on the testnets only gets me more and more bullish about the project so now let's talk about the part of the video which is always the same but people want to know it my non-financial price prediction about render token rndr so as i said in almost every video i believe just like nvidia the biggest manufacturer of gpus in the world is a top 10 stock actually rank six now with a market over a trillion dollars and going up almost 170 percent in one year that's render the biggest decentralized gpu network deserves it to be a top 10 crypto at least so how much is a top 10 crypto you might ask me well if you take a snapshot at a historical from November 7th in the last bull market, you could see that a top 10 crypto would be around 35 billion in market cap. But there's always more. If you go back to the bull run before that, we can see that a top 10 crypto would be 11 billion. So we can already see that a top 10 crypto goes up three times in market cap on the next bull run. And everybody knows bull runs only get bigger and bigger so what would this actually mean for render so render currently at a price of around two dollars with a market cap of 725 million a top 10 crypto last bull run was 35 billion market cap but every bull run a top 10 crypto becomes bigger so next one could be 100 billion meaning that render could be between 35 billion to over a 100 billion market Cap. so this would mean a price of 96.5 dollars to 275.8 dollars depending on these market caps remember we still have a burning mechanism that's going to come that can actually shrink down the amount of tokens shrink down the market cap, that the price can even go higher so yeah guys a lot of people always ask me am i late with it Am I, can I still buy tokens? Well, I've been giving you render around these prices for a long, long time, 40, 50 cents, but I still believe that render has so much to grow and that until the burning mechanism and the Bitcoin halving happen next year, that you have plenty of time. So don't be scared. Don't think you're late. We're in a bear market. Bitcoin is trading at 26,000, which is basically nothing. It's not financial advice, but I'm going to dollar cost average weekly until we get the burning mechanism or the Bitcoin halving going, whatever becomes first. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to follow me at The Real Duck on Twitter to know when I post about crypto, to know when I post crypto videos and more. Also, click on the screen right now if you want to find the best crypto passive income method which works in a bull run and in a bear market like this video if you enjoyed subscribe to my channel for more crypto content and youtube until next time